All right, here is how we're going to onboard your iOS device to the EMS ISD Wi-Fi. First thing that we need to do is connect to the EMS guest Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go to settings, I'm going to go to Wi-Fi, and the one that I'm going to pick is the EMS guest Wi-Fi. Now what this one doesn't do is it doesn't open up a window where you can sign in. So we're going to need to open up Safari to do that. So I'm just going to open up Safari and the website that I want to go to is go.ems-isd.net. So it's going to be go.ems-isd Dot net. What that's going to do is pop up this login screen. It's real important that you don't log in here, but you click at the very bottom where it says to onboard your device, click here. Now here is where you are going to type in your Active Directory credentials. Then you're going to click log in and we need to install this certificate. So I'm just going to tap on it once. I'm going to allow. And it automatically went to this page, so I didn't need to go to the general and scroll down our profile. So I'm going to click install up at the top right. Enter in my passcode I made really quickly. I'm going to click install. I'm going to click install. And then I'm going to click done. And now I'm going to click install profile. So I'm going to tap that once. I'm going to hit allow. And this other one's going to pop up. I'm going to click on install. I'm going to enter my passcode again. I'm going to click install. I'm going to click install. Click install again. Now that that's done, I'm going to click done. And the device provisioning is complete. Now I'm going to forget the EMS guest Wi-Fi so I connect to the EMS ISD Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go back into my settings. Those are the two profiles I had to install. And I'm going to go to Wi-Fi. And I'm going to forget the guest Wi-Fi. And it should after I click EMS ISD Wi-Fi, connect to it. I hope this helps.